What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we are going to be discussing slash reviewing the WB NXT Stand and Deliver 2023 premium live event that just went off the air on Peacock from LA at the Cryptic or Crypto Arena, Crypto.com Arena, whatever the uh, Staples Center. Headlined by Braun Brecker defending that NXT championship against Carmelo Hayes. Let's get into it. Starting with the pre-show, Tyler Bate and Andre Chase, Duke Hudson, and Thea Hale defeated Shism, Joe Gacy, Jagger Reed, Rip Fowler, and Ava. Ava, of course, is the Rock's daughter. This was her in-ring debut. Bate and Chase, you went over to uh, to kind of keep the university. That was a stipulation, whatever. Indy Hartwell. She won the NXT Women's Championship when she defeated champion coming into the show, Roxanne Perez, Gigi Dolan, Laura Valkyra, Tiffany Stratton, and Zoa Starks. Uh, Stark, rather. In a ladder match. This was the opening match on the main card. Dexter Loomis helped Indy climb up the ladder. It was a crazy match as expected. Gallus. Mark Coffey, Wolfgang, they retain the NXT Tag Team titles over the Creed Brothers, Brutus Creed and Julius Creed, as well as Tony D'Angelo and Stax. Wesley retained the NXT uh, North American title in a, in a match that I thought was good, but it just, it did not, it didn't meet my expectations, and maybe my expectations was just way too high. He defeated uh, Axiom, Dragon Lee, who made his television debut, uh, dragging off J.D. Madonna in a Fatal 5-Way to keep said title. So, we'll go with that. I thought Dragon Lee was a highlight of this match, though. Um, and I forget who got pinned. But, uh, anyways. Johnny Gargano defeated Grayson Waller in what will likely be his final NXT match, which was unsanctioned. Uh, Candice LeRae got involved. She hit uh, Waller with the kendo stick a few times. Alba Fire and Isla Dawn defeated Fallon Henley and Kiana James to win the NXT Women's Tag Team titles in about 8 minutes and 41 seconds. Henley and James was arguing uh, all the way through the match, so it was kind of predictable. Uh, and it was predictable going into the show. Finally, main event time. What everyone cared about. Carmelo Hayes finally defeated Braun Breaker to win the NXT uh, title in the main event. Trick Williams got thrown out at one point. He came back. Uh, Braun Breaker, they did a, a ref spot where Braun Breaker had speared Hayes, who knocked over the referee that allowed Williams to come back out while Breaker had Hayes in the Camel Clutch. They hit uh, Braun in the back with the NXT Championship, and then finally Hayes went up to the top rope, hit his leg drop finisher for the win after the match. Braun handed Hayes the championship, he raised his hand, he left him the ring, and they got off the air. The show ended in under three hours in regards to the main card. Now, if you tack on the pre-show match, which was the eight-person tag team match, then it was about a three-hour show. But hey, they got in, they got out. It was a really, it was a watchable show, okay? It's not the uh, NFC takeovers of old, but it was, it was a watchable show. It was a good show. That being said, thank you all for watching, and uh, I'll see you all in the next video.